Hello, beautiful friends and book lovers. I hope that you are all doing well. If you are new to my channel, my name is Heather and here at Heather's Book Review, I tend to read and review thrillers, mysteries, and dramatic suspenseful novels with the occasional super hyped up fiction novel. And today I am going to be reviewing A Nearly Normal Family, which is a thriller. I would say it's a mix of, it's got some psychological thriller elements in it for sure, which I really, really, really liked. Also, my filming light just went out, so I hope the lighting is okay for this video. This is like the fifth video I'm filming today. Um, if you're new here, I am currently 37 weeks pregnant, and I'm trying to bust out a lot of reviews for the books that I've been reading, so I have some content for when our little man arrives. Um, I'm also on Instagram. My Instagram is the same handle, just at Heather's Book Review if you want to connect with me on there. But speaking of Instagram, I have a really good friend on there named Selena who gifted this to me. Um, and we did a buddy read for it together, which I love doing buddy reads because we like read it at the same pace and then we just chat about what's going on. And this book was so, so, so fun to chat about while reading because it's really freaking good. So I'm just going to go ahead and give you the um, non-spoiler premise and my thoughts on this and then a book chat for those of us who have read way later in the video that I will definitely warn you about so you aren't spoiled. So I'm going to read you the synopsis for this book now. I literally just pulled this right off of Goodreads. It says, when the teenage daughter of a responsible upstanding of responsible upstanding parents is accused of murder, a family realizes that it isn't love that will keep them together, it's lies. 18-year-old Stella Sandal stands accused of the brutal murder of a man almost 15 years her senior. She's an ordinary teenager from a respectable local family. What reason could she have to know a shady businessman, let alone to kill him? Told in an unusual three-part structure, this gripping domestic drama pushes the family to its limits. The father, a pastor, believes his daughter can only be innocent despite mounting evidence. The mother, a defense attorney, believes no one is telling the truth. And the daughter, desperate for her dreams of the future, believes no one understands how far she is willing to go. In this complex, multi-layered novel, every character's loyalty and morality is tested. Are we duty-bound to defend our family, even when the evidence is against them? Is anyone who they see who they seem on the surface? And what are we willing to compromise to keep our lives as we know them intact? So if you're new here, I always like to think of past movies I've watched, past books I've read that are similar to the one I'm reviewing to kind of guide you in a sense of if you liked this, you may want to check this out. So in this sense, if you're into true crime, which I know is like a huge push right now, um, there are a lot of great podcasts out for it. Or if you like the book, The Night Swim, I think you should probably check this out because it's definitely has that like true crime feel um, with also the thriller aspect. And it's really fun because it's, it's multiple point of views. It's like you heard me just say, it's the dad's point of view for the first third of the book, the daughter's point of view for the second, and then the mom's point of view for the third. And it's good, you guys. There were a few things that stood out about this book for me. One of them was, okay, so in the beginning, I first thought, like, is this the writer's, like, way of writing? It's very blunt. I know that didn't really make any sense. So you start with the dad's point of view, and it's very blunt. It's like, there's, like, not a lot of filler. I was like, ooh, I'm loving this. Like, I love just, like, getting straight to the point. And then I'm like, I wonder if it has something to do with like, I'm pretty sure this book was originally written in Swedish and then translated into English. And I was like, I wonder if it's just like the, like that's how it's being translated over just like, you know, his writing style. And then when it translates into English, it's like very blunt, but actually it ends up just being, in my opinion, the dad's point of view. That's like very blunt and to the point. But I love the author's writing style is what I'm trying to get at. Like it really stood out to me. He is amazing in the sense that he was able to really make me believe that like, it will not make me believe. He, I don't know how to word it. Like he was really great at writing from all points of view. Like he sounded like a dad, 
sounded like a teenage daughter and was able to sound like, you know, a worried wife. Especially in the dad's point of view, there's not a lot of filler. So it's like, we're getting right to the point every single time. And like, it was such a great way to start off the book because I was super hooked. I'm like, you know, trying to guess if like the dad's involved somehow. And like, just all of these scenes that we're reading about are so to the point and blunt and like, it really hooked me. For ratings for the book, this is getting a nine out of 10 personal rating. And if Goodreads did half stars, this would be a 4.5 out of five, but I am gonna go ahead and give it a four out on Goodreads since it's not a perfect five star for me. Um, this book is insanely gripping. Like I was hooked the entire time. Um, it's really fun guessing like if the daughter actually was the murderer or if she's being framed. You're guessing the entire time. You're thinking that the motives are switching with every new character's point of view. You get new evidence along the way and it's just, ugh, it's so well paced. I feel like the book really wraps up nicely. I was very pleasantly surprised with the ending. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a very close five out of five stars for me. If you're new here, I really don't rate a whole lot of books like a 10 out of 10 for me or a five out of five. I'm pretty picky in that regard. Like it has to be really amazing for me in order to, um, to rate it that high. But this is, this is one of the better books I've read in 2021. Um, it's good. I highly recommend it. I flew through it in a span of like two to four days. Um, and yeah, I, I like it a lot. So as always in all of my videos, I am going to get to the book chat part of the video for those of us who have read. So if you're new here, I would love if you could hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new bookish related video. All right, that ending when it's Amina and Stella and Chris and he's like laughing in their faces about, you know, abusing Amina and freaking Stella grabs that knife and they end the book that way. I was like, oh damn, it was such a good ending. The whole time we know she has a temper, right? Like, and we know that she's impulsive and we got to see that at the end. Like she was not about to take his ridicule and his, and you know, his demeaning them and laughing. And I was like, oh my gosh, I just, I thought they ended, I thought the book ended so well, like in such a good good like just I don't know just wrapped up nicely I get that the mom like had that bond with Amina and she wanted to save Amina but like putting Amina before her own daughter I was like damn what the hell like one small mistake and Stella literally would have like spent her life in prison and the mom still put Amina first because she didn't really like have that bond with Stella I don't know that part like actually actually shocked me because I was like, one wrong thing could happen and Stella's in prison probably for the rest of her life. You know what I mean? So I don't know, you guys, I thought it was really good. I, my favorite point of view was Stella's just because, you know, the whole time you're like, I feel like as we started to get closer to the end, we were realizing like she really was the murderer and you know, the mom was hiding evidence, the dad was lying and I don't know. I just thought it was really good. I'm so happy that I read it. Please leave in the comments below what you thought about the book. And as always, I'll see you in my next review. Bye, you guys.